Welcome everyone, if I could get your attention. The day has finally come. That should be a round of applause. So we do have a small agenda here. We'll try to stick to it. It's not anything spectacular, but uh, my name is Tom Spaulding. My, I represent the Lions under what they call the Hunger Chair. Uh, and this is a project that has finally come to fruition, uh, which took a lot longer than we expected. And a lot of that was out of our control, uh, just to kind of bring people up to speed so they are familiar why it took us a little longer than expected. But we had anticipated that this project would be done sometime around the end of August, uh, September, and then GM decided to go on strike. <laughs> and that really did, no pun intended, threw, threw a wrench into everything that we tried to accomplish in the speed that we did because we couldn't do anything. We were dead in the water. Um, and of course, it went on for three, three and a half months. Mark would know better than I would, but of course that backlogged everything. So the van itself, uh, didn't even start to get built until the middle of, of December. And then of course we had to wait for it to arrive. So it's here, the day has come and we're excited. Uh, I do wanna kind of lay out the agenda because I think that's important people see so you know, what to expect in this brief uh, ceremony. Uh, after I speak real briefly, uh, Kelly Clark's gonna come up after me. She's gonna talk a little bit about the, the foundation. After her, Steve Bingo will come up and talk a little bit about our local ch chapter and recognize all the people that helped make this project uh, possible. Um, and then Sherry Vora will come up and, and recognize a very special person. Um, and then we're gonna ask Dan to come up and speak, uh, who always looks excited when we ask him to do that. <laughs> um, and then while you're up here, Dan, we have another surprise for you. So we're gonna surprise you again with a little bit more. No, I got that <laughs> Uh, and then we're going to ask Lori to do a prayer of dedication, and then we will wrap it up, and then we will ask those that are here representing uh, the businesses and organizations that made this possible. We are, will do a group photo. There's food and drink, um, and mingle for as long as, as you wish to, uh, and ask questions and whatnot. So on that note, again, on behalf of the Alliance, thank you for coming. Um, and I'd like to hand it over now to uh, Kelly Clark and go from there. Thank you. <laughs> so just so that everyone understands, um, we'll talk a little bit about the foundation, but the foundation gave us half of the money to be able to get this trailer and van. So that's why the Lions Cubs International Foundation is so important. They say that every journey begins with a single step, one act of service, one encouraging word, one gift of generosity is often all it takes to bring hope where it's needed most. Lyons took one such step in 1968. You guys have never heard of 68, I know. When they formed the charitable arm of Lions Cubs International, LCIF, as we call it, Lions Cubs International Foundation. For more than 50 years, LCIF has dedicated their energies to increasing the ability of lions everywhere, helping them to empower the communities that they serve. With every grant that they award, their history grows, along with the impact of lions. We are so proud to be just one of the 13,000 grants totaling more than $1 billion that LCIF has awarded so far. They say that every journey begins with a single step, one act of service. The Lab Alliance took one, one such step when we decided to write a grant, raise money, and supply our local food pantry with a much needed vehicle and trailer. <laughs> this equipment will enable the Lab Food Pantry to serve even more people in the rural areas of our county and to transport more supplies for consumption by our most vulnerable and food challenged neighbors. They say that every journey begins with a single step, one gift of generosity. Many of you took one such step when you donated money to this most worthwhile project. Without your financial support, 
we would not have been able to complete this project in such a short, and yes, short amount of time <laughs> and so successfully. The story of LCIF is epic, filled with unlimited compassion and tireless support of Lions Service, and only made possible by donations from clubs and individuals around the world. Our four-star rating from Charity Navigator for the eighth straight year proves that we consistently execute fiscal responsibility and accountability. When you donate to LCIF, you also know that 100% of your money will go to the causes we support and not to the administration of the organization. In short, our Lions Club International Foundation makes good work possible by supporting us with grants for valuable service to our communities and we thank them for supporting this project in particular. Thank you. Lions Club, Lions Club International is a, a non-political service organization that was founded in 1917. There's over 1.4 million members worldwide in 46,000 local clubs in over 200 countries. Um, so it spreads the globe. Uh, Lions Club's plan to participate in a wide variety of service projects that meet the international goals of Lions Club International, um, as well as the needs of the local community. The service project areas we focus on, our vision, which was our first um, as Lions Club is back in the early 1900s, that's what we only focused on, and we've added several others. Diabetes, childhood cancer, environment, and as you can see tonight, uh, hunger is, is our fifth service area we focus on. Um, a unique quality, um, Kelly talked about the foundation. Our local clubs are the same way. Uh, all money that we receive from uh, donations is used for charitable pur purposes. Uh, the administrative costs are kept strictly separate and uh, are paid for by our members. So if any, anything you do to, to, to uh, help out the Lions Club, 100% goes to uh, that project. <laughs> I'd like to finish this, this portion uh, with our slogan, which is truly on display here today, where there's a need, there's a lion. Um, we said that a lot to when we did the park downtown and even when we're doing smaller projects. Um, the Lala Lions Club really takes that to heart. Uh, we look in our community and try to see where there's a need and then we address it. Um, our club saw the need, the food pantry had for a new van and, uh, and sprung into action. We live in a great community that supports our efforts both on large scale like this and also our small um, projects uh, that happen throughout the year. And we really appreciate how generous the, uh, the businesses and organizations of the Laval area are um, that have supported this project and all of our projects. Um, I just want to go through the list of those sponsors and, and recognize them, and then at the end we're going to take a picture uh, with everybody. Uh, the First Presbyterian Church of Laval, Lewis County, Northern Credit Union, Jeb's Restaurant, who also provided the food for us today, which is a, a nice thank you for them for doing that. Dr. Minoj and Sherry Vora, Griffith Energy, the Laval Oaks Lodge, the Laval Teachers Association, Laval Sport and Farm, and Essen Lore Motors. And we have one more uh, presentation to a very special donor that Sherry Vora is going to do now. Um, Sherry, if you'd like to come up and uh, present that special recognition to one of our donors. <coughs> <laughs> okay, it is my sincere pleasure to present an award which honors an outstanding individual in our community. I had the honor to be the voice of the Laval Alliance to discuss the Hunger Project with this individual last August when we first started our fundraising efforts. It was apparent when all was said and done that this project meant as much to this individual as it did to myself and our club and our community. The recipient of this award possesses the highest examples of lionistic character, ideals, purpose, and service. The selfless acts of charity and humanitarian work that has been made possible by this individual is both heartwarming and inspirational. It is my privilege and my honor to present the Robert J. Uplinger Distinguished Service Award to Mr. Robert Sturtz, CEO of Slack Chemicals. If I'm not 
mistaken, I think you now have a twin. Is that right? Yeah, because I think the Carthage Lions also bestowed this on you. Well, so you, yes, yes. Yes, yes, so you did. have a twin now. Okay. So, and there's a special pin that goes with this award. Oh, great. Yes, if you would. Thank you. Thank you. The award reads... Robert J. Uplinger Distinguished Service Award awarded to Robert Sturtz with humble gratitude for your generous contribution to the Lewis County Food Pantry Project from the Lava Lions Club. Well, that's Thank you very much. All, all I can say is they sent the right young lady to get the money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I agree with that. I can ask Dan Taylor, the CEO, to come up and say a few words. Appreciate it. No. <laughs> uh, what to say? I'm not a speech maker. Um, I'm thankful that all of you stepped up to help us. We, our van died Friday. Um, we've babied it. We've used gum, glue, tape anything we could to hold it together. And this means that we can keep doing what I've been doing for the last 21 years in Lewis County, and that's helping people to make sure they've got something to eat. Um, it means we can reach out to other areas that are what are called food deserts in Lewis County and help them to make sure they've got something to eat. I grew up a child who knew what it meant to go to bed hungry at night. My mom was a single person. Um, she worked nights. We got up in the morning. We had whatever was there for breakfast. We were lucky that um, school served lunch, but the school didn't serve dinner. So, and by the time we got home, my mom had gone to work. So it was that whatever was there, we had for dinner. Um, I just like feeding people. <laughs> uh, I love to cook. I just can't cook at home. My kitchen's not big enough. Um, having this van means that we can continue what we do. And we're all volunteers at the Loudville Food Pantry. There are no paid staff. Everybody there is a volunteer. And we put our heart and soul into making sure that we can serve the community in Lewis County. So I thank you very much. You have made one of my dreams come true. The other ones, if they finish my building. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, if I could ask Steve, Sherry, and Kelly to come up, we have one more little gift for you. No. <laughs> this is the one you really care about, but this is the one that was great for the photo. Yeah. <laughs> when we raised funds, we were estimating what things were going to cost, and uh, some of the things came yeah. in less than we had estimated. So the, the money we have left over, we wanted to donate onto you. Thank you. So now you can fill the bank. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thank you. All right. Cool. Yeah. Can I go now? <laughs> Where's my tooth? <laughs> Real quick, uh, if not pointed out before, there is a metal screen that has been bought and paid for as well to pr protect the driver from objects that move, slide, whatnot. It just hasn't arrived yet, but it's all taken care of and will be installed once it's here and so forth. So on that note, this is where I plug that if you're not a lion, Sherry will be very happy with you. <laughs> um, at least consider, you know, come to a meeting, come to two meetings uh, and check us out. We, we don't hold you down and at least we don't, Sherry does that. Sherry does that. <laughs> uh, 
and, and decide to get involved if you choose to do, do so, but learn more about us if, if, if you want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a bunch of photographs and we're going to ask uh, all of the sponsors to, to gather around. We won't keep you too long. Take pictures yourself, inspect the van, expect the trailer, eat food and drink. And, uh, but just before that happens, we're going to ask Lori to do a prayer of dedication for uh, the food pantry, the community, the van, and trailer. Thank you, Lori. So, um, Pastor of the First Presbyterian Church of Lava, we were really excited to be part of this project to be. And a Lions member. <laughs> one of the neighbors that came together to show love. It is such a such an honor to uh, to be part of this community and uh, part of this project. Will you pray with me? Well, holy and gracious God, we are so, so very grateful to be here celebrating the work that has been done. We're so grateful for those in this community who help those who are hungry. We're so grateful for the ministry and work of the food pantry and the many who volunteer their time to make sure that people in this community have something to eat. We're especially grateful for the neighbors that came together, the businesses, and individuals who help to support the work of the pantry by funding this van. We're grateful for the tireless hours that were put in and all the thought that went toward picking out the vehicle. We're grateful for the opportunity to bring food to the food deserts in this community and all the good work that will be done. Oh, holy God, we ask your special blessing upon this vehicle, upon those who will be driving it, upon those who will receive all the food that will be shared because of the generosity of this community. Send your special blessing upon the work that is done and upon all the neighbors who come together to show love. All these things we pray in the name of the one who loved us so much. Jesus, amen. 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 So if I could get two people to maybe hold the ribbon. Dan, one last time, we're going to hand you over. It's skeleton key. And I'll have you do that, Steve. So the handing of the key. Oh. Unless Mark hit it. Yeah. Don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on a gigantic lion's key. Oh, I did. There you go. You're not going to lose those. <laughs> It doesn't flash yellow. Right? Just, it does, it does flash, flash yellow. yellow. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? So you can't lose it. Hey. You want me to cut it? Yes. All righty. Dan, why don't you join together? together. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we'll run with these later. What? He's always been that problem. <laughs> <John>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Actually, I'll hold it and cut it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding it. There you go. Don't, don't cut your they finger. They probably don't cut anything. That's from the hospital. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> they do cut it. They do. I'm surprised. They are super sharp. Wow. <laughs> that seems like a safety issue for the hospital. <laughs> well, if, if I could ask Liz, Dr. Vora, because I know you're good with a camera and anyone else, let's get the sponsors up here and if we could get them organized and get some pictures taken with all the sponsors. Sure.